Throughout time, mankind's ingenuity has been breathtaking. We've discovered fire, invented the wheel, created the World Wide Web. Yet for centuries, one tiny microorganism has defied us. I feel that uh, tuberculosis at present is like a time bomb and it will blast any time. Tuberculosis is one of the world's foremost infectious killers, infecting 9 million new people every year. And now the bacterium is mutating into far deadlier forms. You should be not just worried, but very worried about drug-resistant TB. There's an estimated 600, over 600,000 cases in the world, and these cases are everywhere. They're in Europe, they're in Africa, they're in Asia. They're in everybody's doorstep. It's everybody's problem now. Drug-resistant TB does not respond to the first-line antibiotics used to treat standard TB. It's airborne, infectious, and spreading indiscriminately. We're now facing a major emergency with drug-resistant TB, with increasing numbers around the world. In all of our projects, when we look, we are finding patients in really large numbers. One infected person can spread TB to another 15 more person in a year. So if we don't treat this multi-drug resistant TB, then there will be lots of open cases and it will keep on mounting up again more and more. Despite the growing global health threat, the response is shockingly inadequate. Today, barely one in 20 TB patients is properly tested for drug resistance. And new tools in rapid diagnosis have yet to reach many places. After receiving the reports that my daughter died on MDR, I nearly had a stroke. She was tested in time, but I was told that the, uh, the results will come after six, or, uh, six weeks. Six weeks came, two months came, three months came, four months came. That time she was dead already. If maybe there was a way of getting the treatment sooner, she wouldn't die. For Brigitte's daughter, the long diagnosis period cost her life but not before the resistant strain of TB had spread to her young son. Thankfully, a new rapid diagnostic test enabled Savule to get the right treatment fast. Now he faces the next big challenge. As a medical doctor, I find it extremely conflicting to put a patient on MDR-TB treatment. First of all, the drugs are toxic, they are minimally effective, and they can cause long drawn out suffering and lasting side effects. Потому что угнетает это лекарство. Я принимаю лекарство вот в течение двух, трех часов, даже опять без минут не могу себе. Постоянно лежу. Сутки я час полтора всего до нога. After two years taking thousands of pills and receiving hundreds of injections, patients have a paltry 50% chance of cure. And with no formulations for children available, the situation is critical. We're in a very terrible situation at the moment. Only about one in five patients are estimated to get treatment. So this is woefully inadequate. Add to that the extortionate cost of the drugs and grossly inadequate international funding, and it's clear we face an impending disaster. The Global Fund is the most important international donor for TB, uh, providing around 90% of the funding. In the last round, actually, TB was deprioritized and received a smaller share of funding. And this undermines what we're trying to do at the field, and it sends a very bad negative message about how important TB is as a priority. The price of not acting is really too frightening to comprehend. We need more research and development, we need more innovation, and we need uh, better tools.